welcome to a brand new episode of the one and only Football Shirt Show. In cool collections, Football Shirt collectors tell us everything about their collection. In this episode, we will see a lot of Serie A legends, coming all the way from Scotland. Hi there, my name is Neil Anderson. I'm from Aberdeen, Scotland. I'm 32 years old. Uh, I've been collecting football shirts since about 1995. I've got 212 shirts in total. 132 of those are from Italian football, including the national team. My first ever shirt was from the 1995-96 season. And my hometown team, Aberdeen, won the Scottish League Cup. And that original shirt that I had was actually thrown out by my mother by mistake. So I've uh, rebought the top, uh, and that's the first ever one I ever had. Some of my other shirts I have. From Aberdeen, just go from every season basically since I uh, supported them and um, right through until the most current season. Uh, but I made a switch to collecting Italian football shirts because most people my age remember a program that was on television when we were younger, which was only foreign football we could really watch um, channel, on Channel 4 called uh, Galazzo um, Football Italia. And when I watched that when I was a kid, there were so many good players, all the best players played in Serie A at the time and I just fell in love with that type of football. All the teams, there were so many teams could win the league every year and I just fell in love with all the different colours and kits and everything and just through the years I've been collecting the shirts from there. So I'll let you see some of the pick of the collection. Um, I have got a few that I think are some of my favourites. Um, I particularly like this one from uh, Brescia, and um, with of course striker Dario Hubner on the back of it. Uh, I just love the colours of this shirt, and um, just think it looks great, all the patterns on it, the sponsor, contrast there, looks great. Probably the rarest shirt and the most expensive shirt I've ever bought is this Fiorentina one from 1992. Um, these ones are like gold dust now um, because unfortunately there was a print error in the, the pattern or rather a pattern uh, mistake which leads to these iconic swastikas which obviously they don't want. Um, this is a player issue one so these are really rare. The player issue has the stitched badge as opposed to the badge screen printed in the material. That's the most expensive top I've ever bought. That was about £524. Um, long sleeve as you can see, 7-up sponsor. Um, if it wasn't for those pants, it would be a really nice shirt. Of course from USA 94, Roberto Baggio famously missing the penalty in the final after being one of the players of the tournament. Again, that printing to me very iconic, looks great, the shirt itself is great as well. Of course, probably my favourite ever player is the real Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo. Number 10 when he first signed for Inter Milan. And I've got a couple of Ronaldo shirts there from that season, the home one. And of course this one, the third one, which is probably one of my favourite shirts of all time. This black and grey one, really cool looking. Um, when Ronaldo, of course, then became number nine, forced teammate, Chilean teammate Ivan Zamorano to get the number, uh, well, he was number nine, so he forced him to get iconic one plus eight. This is a shirt I was looking for for some time, 98, 99 season. Uh, it is a really nice strip, but I was just dying to get one with that lettering on the back, one plus eight. Really different, really cool. Parma, three quarter sleeves, goalkeeper strip. One on the GG before on the back of it. Again, that was one of my favourite ones, just with it being so different with the three quarter sleeves. I'm trying to get the goalkeeper strips from the Buffon era at Parma. It's quite rare as well. As you can see with my Italian shirts, I have them all hanging up. And they are normally in individual polythene bags. However, for the purpose of this video, I've got them out so you can see them better. Um, some of the rest of them that are the non-Italian ones, I have just stored in boxes there. There's 40 in each of those boxes. One of the teams I like personally in Serie A is uh, 
Roma Francesco Totti of course the captain of Roma for so many years probably the most famous ever player this one I got when I actually went to Rome with the printing of uh, Francesco Totti on the sleeve for his last ever game the captain's armband, special captain's armband of all the years where he played for Roma and the achievements in each year when he was there that's a really good one I think I think if I had to pick one shirt out of all my favourite shirts uh, it would have to be the 97-98 uh, Fiorentina shirt I have a match worn shirt by Belgian international uh, Luis Oliveira um, classic Nintendo sponsor um, it was actually worn in a game which he scored against Lazio in that season um, just everything about this shirt is just great the feel obviously making it colours, the design through it um, and of course that sponsor is just a great looking shirt that's my, absolutely my favourite I would say If there's one shirt I'd like to add to the collection, it would be the late 80s Napoli shirt when Diego Maradona was at Napoli, preferably sort of the around 88-89 era when they were sponsored by Mars and that's about as close as I've got to it so far, but I think I would really like one of those shirts, I'm always on the lookout for one of those, any of the sort of Mars Napoli shirts, really iconic. A big big thanks to Neil for taking the time to show us his awesome collection and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our show, please support us by hitting that subscribe button and give us a follow on social media. If you also collect football shirts and would like to show them to the world, feel free to contact us or leave a comment below the video.